Parents across the region are waiting to hear what their school districts will decide to do for their kids in the fall. The new school year is quickly approaching. Some of the first classes are set to begin in about a month. Superintendents and school board members are working on plans for in person and online classes or maybe even a combination of the two. In one district, no matter what the plan is, no student will report to class five days a week. Pam Serrano is live with a look at the latest suggestions being considered for Pittsburgh public schools. Pam. Kim, how do you educate 23,000 students within Pittsburgh Public Schools, all with diverse needs? There are so many complexities, but one thing is for certain, no student within this district will be in a traditional school setting 100% of the time when the school year begins. Pittsburgh Public Schools preliminary report to reopen has been a huge collaborative effort. 300 stakeholders of community members and staff formed 14 subcommittees with 400 recommendations. The district's live stream on Facebook tonight was viewed by more than a thousand people with an endless virtual list of questions. We really thought that by the time September rolled around, at least we felt that we would be able to go back to school with some considerations on cleaning and new procedures. But with COVID positives on the rise, balancing health, safety and education means entirely new procedures for learning within PPS schools this year. Families were surveyed about preferred learning choices for their students and feelings were mixed. We have some who don't want their children to go back at all. In fact, some 700 students already registered exclusively for online learning. The district says in order to make learning safe for everyone, they've come up with the following proposals. One is for families to choose exclusive e-learning instruction, a hybrid plan of both e-learning and in-school learning where students would be scheduled for select days in school to limit the number of students in buildings. Also, an exclusive online learning plan may also become necessary. What happens today may look different in another week based on the guidelines we get from the CDC and our state government in our health department. What also still needs to be determined, what happens to students with special needs and sports? So far, the plan is to have them, but this is also subject to change. Now, all of this is not without withstanding mask wearing and, of course, cleaning protocols as well. The safety proposal will be voted on by the school board on July the 22nd, and we will bring you those results. Reporting live on the north side, Pam Serrano, KDKA News.